Well, hello, I'm Paul Standish, and I'm the head of the Centre for Philosophy of Education at UCL Institute of Education. So I've been involved in philosophy of education extensively for about 25 years, I suppose, and uh, prior to taking this position, I'd been a branch organiser or a conference organiser for the Philosophy of Education Society of Great Britain, and I'd also been assistant editor for a number of years when Richard Smith was editor. Uh, my main purpose was to, st to sustain the excellent work that was being done by the journal. I did think and continue to think that ours is the le leading journal in the field, and I wanted to maintain that reputation and to enhance it if possible. We, had, we did introduce some, some innovations. Um, for example, we had a series of interviews with eminent philosophers, including Alistair McIntyre, Hilary Putnam, and Stanley Cavell, and those, I think, will continue to be a feature of the journal. We also introduced suites of papers related to particular topics, sometimes practical topics such as policy in school ins inspection and sometimes broader topics such as the uh, role of translation in philosophy of education, for example. I'd say the pr practical challenge that's greatest is that there are so many submissions and it's difficult to deal with them, to handle them efficiently, especially in an increasingly busy time for academics generally. And, of course, many of th those who are submitting are rightly anxious about the fate of their publication. Careers often depend upon having good publications out there. So with this increased volume of submissions, uh, we, were, uh, uh, we, we started to use the technology much better ourselves and adopted a management system in conjunction with Wiley Blackwell, which on the whole has proved very efficient and I think has improved the way we handle things. I hope that the journal has continued to be extremely successful. Indeed, I'm sure it, it has been successful, and that's reflected in a number of measures. One is a, a widened circulation. Uh, we are a must-have as far as many leading libraries around the world are concerned, and that's a very important basis for our prosperity as a society and for the work, the research work we're able to fund in consequence of that. So that's an excellent basis. But just in terms of the take-up of the journal and its readership, I know the journals read, for example, in this country, um, in the Department for Education and uh, by research advisors to ministers and so on. Um, I know also that in my time as editor, journal access went up to, by, uh, to, to the level of 100,000 downloads per year. Of course, that's not the only way that the journal is accessed, but nevertheless, it's a very significant reflection of interest in the work we're doing. It's also right to say that that number has increased significantly since that time. It's about 10 years ago, the time I'm talking about. So I'm delighted that that's continued to progress.